Jeff Wittick is officially suing David Dobrik for the excavator accident that occurred back in 2020. This lawsuit has been something a ton of people have been encouraging Jeff to do ever since they learned of the accident. And that includes Ethan Klein, who even though the two of them had their differences, Ethan said that he would support Jeff and get him any sort of legal advice he needed to move forward with this case. Him and Jeff definitely had a lot of drama going on, but no matter what, Ethan always supported him going after David to get at least his medical bills taken care of, at least have something in writing to make sure that he was fully taken care of for this accident. Now, in the lawsuit, Jeff is suing for more than $10 million in damages and claims that due to the accident, he suffered wage losses, loss of earning capacity, and racked up hospital bills. He's suing for general negligence and intentional tort. This is something Jeff hinted at a few months ago following his falling out with David. He said he was going to let lawyers handle the situation because it was just getting to be too much for him mentally and he just wanted everything to be in the hands of lawyers. Speaking of lawyers though, you guys, some crazy news popped up last night and this news is that people think that David Dobrik is going to be represented by Johnny Depp's lawyer, Camille Vasquez. This is the craziest thing that I've heard about this case. And honestly, how this information came to light is even crazier. Somebody posted a TikTok of the lawyers. Obviously, the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case was extremely publicized and a lot of fans went to the courthouse to support and also like film Johnny leaving the courthouse, filming the lawyers leaving the courthouse. And there is a video of Camila Vasquez leaving the courthouse and Johnny Depp's other lawyer goes up to her and says, have a great talk with David Dobrik. At least that's what people think he says to her. It kind of does to me sound like he says, had a great talk with David Dobrik. But either way, someone from Johnny Depp's team representing David Dobrik is a possibility. At least they had conversations that could be really crazy, but it sounds like he's reaching out to some top tier lawyers here. And a lot of people have a lot of things to say about it. Ever since hearing the news, the comment section is crazy on TikTok, really hoping that she doesn't represent him. But yeah, that's a whole other thing that's going on. Now, the question I've been seeing a lot of people have is why now? I'll give you a little bit of a timeline of some of the events and why this is happening now. I personally feel like it's because Jeff realized he's backed by a lot more supporters than people that are hating on him for going after David Dobrik, who was once beloved. I mean, you have to think that when this accident happened, David was still at the peak of his career. People loved him. The Dirty Dom stuff wasn't made to light yet. And in his mind, if he went against David, people were going to be upset at him. And I think he's realized now people are very supportive of him, encouraging him to sue and he no longer cares about what the vlog squad thinks of him. Whereas back then he really did care and those were his friends. So back in 2020, David was on a break because of COVID. He stopped posting on his channel and said that he was going to return once things went back to normal. But since normal didn't really seem to be around the corner, like everyone kept saying a month from now, it should be gone a month from now, maybe two months. It just didn't seem like anything normal was going to be anytime soon. So David started to plan his big return to YouTube. It had been months since he posted, so he felt like he needed to do something big. So he wanted to do a bunch of things for this video. He was going to do a bunch of crazy stunts. And one of them included taking the vlog squad out to a lake, getting spun around on an excavator while holding onto a piece of rope and bodyboarding. Him and the vlog squad met up with this guy who got them the excavator and he does like crazy stunts on YouTube, I believe. And so David was going to do this stunt. Well, not him directly, of course, because David like never puts himself in harm's way, but the vlog squad members, yes, they spent some time going in circles on the water and Todd and Heath were in the water just like hanging onto the rope while they had their boards and they were just going around. At one point, Corinna gets on the rope and is holding on. She's not on a board or anything. She's just holding on with her hands. 
and she's swinging from it, but it kind of loosened a little and she jumped off and yelled at David that he always takes things a little too far because he started to go a little bit faster when Corinna was on there and was like spinning around a little faster. After Corinna got on it, Jeff then got on it and David was controlling it still and spun Jeff a little too fast and the excavator stopped and Jeff slammed into the side of the machine and fell into the water. This resulted in a lifelong eye injury. He has had multiple surgeries since to recover the side of his face and his eyesight. The whole incident was kept a secret for a whole year almost. When the news did come out in a series Jeff made on his channel, it seemed like David and Jeff had kind of resolved some of their issues and were mostly on good terms. Despite him feeling some resentment towards David, he was trying to move on with his life and come to terms with everything, saying that he didn't want to waste his life being angry. Jeff still continued to participate in vlogs and hang out with Vlog Squad members, and it wasn't until this past February that their relationship fell apart publicly. Jeff revealed that he's been afraid to speak up all this time because he didn't want to lose his friends. He knew the vlog squad members were loyal to David because at the end of the day, they all rely on him to make content. You know, in return, they're making money because if they're vlogging with David or if David is in the title of their video or their thumbnail or they're in the friend group, they are getting clout from that and then they are making money from their own personal channels. So he knew that none of them were really going to be leaving David if he went against the group. And he was just kind of in this place where he was like, I, you know, I don't need people in my life that aren't going to support me because he said a lot of those people in the vlog squad were trying to convince him that, you know, David was a good person and all of this stuff. And he just was having a lot of feelings. He was not agreeing with the things that they were saying. Once Jeff started speaking out against David though, he did gain a big supportive following for himself. And a lot of people told him that you know, if those people were going to ditch him for speaking out, he was better off without them. He then began to call out David for not being there for him and other vlog squad members. And it was clear he didn't want anything to do with them anymore. Back in February, Jeff said that he had his ninth eye surgery and that David couldn't even reach out to him to check in on him. Despite this being an extremely dangerous procedure that could have caused him to lose his vision. David, Jason, and Natalie then got on camera to respond to all that Jeff had been saying and this was the first time that they had ever addressed the accident. David said in this video that the accident was extremely hard on him. It was one of the worst days of his life. It was the worst thing that ever happened to him. And he said he didn't know exactly how to handle or talk to Jeff because he does seem like a tough guy and doesn't want to show any weaknesses. And he wasn't communicating well enough with them about payments or medical stuff. And so things weren't covered and there was just a lot of miscommunication it seemed. He did want to make it clear that he did offer to help cover his medical care, but something was going on where they weren't being let in on when surgeries were or when to pay. That was what David and Natalie were saying. Like, I want to help him. I sure. really, truly do. Yeah. And like, he still has my word. Like I told him that I'd pay for a surgery. He can still. And, 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 and the reason we haven't been paying for a surgery, I don't know if it's the assistant's fault or, or, or Jeff just them to back off from us but like natalie has asked multiple times like loop us into all these surgeries and we're just not getting looped into anything and then we're blindsided when he goes to another surgery and then he'll like come out and be like like his most recent surgery i didn't know that he had a surgery until he unfollowed me on instagram and that's because you know it's a two-way street we can be we can be like when's your next surgery but also we're not no one's looping us into what we need to be paying for and to this day like i'm still keeping my word like I want him to send me whatever he needs me to pay for. Like, I will pay for it. Once David, Natalie, Jason came out, a lot more people were like, Jeff, you gotta sue. You gotta sue. And as this was going on, it was also revealed that the last straw for Jeff, the reason he was exposing David, or one of the reasons that really like set him off, like, okay, I'm gonna actually speak my truth here. I'm actually gonna come out and say, hey, I'm not friends with this guy and this guy hasn't been great to me, was because Casey Neistat had actually been working on a documentary about David Dobrik since the beginning of David's career. This came out at South by Southwest. It's not on the internet anywhere. So unless you attended South by Southwest or paid to attend it virtually, you can't watch it online yet. It might come out on like HBO or Netflix or Hulu or some online streaming platform 
eventually, but it's not, you know, a guarantee. I'm not sure. But in this documentary, Casey had included a clip of David being interviewed about Jeff's accident. And prior to its release, Casey showed Jeff this clip of David's interview where David basically said that this was Jeff's fault. The accident was Jeff's fault. This caused Jeff to get extremely angry because he said he made David swear that he was never going to blame him for the accident. That David knew this was not Jeff's fault, basically. He also made a documentary yeah. and showed me a clip recently that mm. really pissed me off. But he did it because he respects me and he's... Yeah. My boy. So yeah. he showed me just to prepare me for what's coming and to prepare David for what's coming. Shout out to Casey Nice there. David blamed me for the, the crazy. He insinuated that I was crazy. I always want to push it. And I'm the reason that this happened. When that's complete bullshit. There's 20 people on the beach that are witnesses. I have fucking six terabytes of footage of you asking me, begging me to go out there and do the thing again and that you would spin it slow. You just want to take me out there because it's more scenic. Everything, I took it on the chin, and then to see this, and that just made me completely lose all respect for this guy and lose all hope that he could ever turn around and become a better person. You know, I know he does a lot on video. He gives away cars and shit, but you know, doing stuff on video and doing things in real life are two completely different things. One thing I asked from him was to not blame me for it. I don't want to look like a clout chasing idiot when you asked me to go out on there. You begged me to come out there. But if you go around saying that this was not your fault and you try to put it on the other guy, who's me, and say that this was my fault, these life-altering injuries, then there's going to be problems. That's where the switch flips. Even when David, Natalie, and Jason sat down to address the situation, they claimed that everyone that was there that day was in a mood to do something crazy. They wanted a cool video. Jeff was like, oh, Todd thinks he's so cool. Like... He's just like wakeboarding or whatever and like because he was like we had just done all these things we just jumped out of a plane like a million bajillion times now we're just like hanging on to like a wakeboard um and there's like so many more other cooler things that could be done and so i think that like there was just this air of like everyone was trying to like have fun and like do cool things and david said 15 minutes before the accident jeff saw a video that 50 cent had posted on his instagram which he posts a lot of meme videos on his account but jeff had seen a video that 50 cent posted of somebody getting swung from an excavator and jeff said in a dm to david let's recreate this but david says that he did not see that dm at all before jeff got on the excavator there was a video that he found like 15 minutes before the accident that somebody posted and he said let's recreate this and it was a guy swinging from an excavator and flying off i didn't see that dm till the hospital and he jokes he's like i didn't mean literally haha -ha, like he joked jeff claims that he was just being funny because how weird of a timing was it for him to see that as they were literally doing something very similar right in front of him jeff wasn't trying to get like flung off of this thing he didn't know that david was going to go super fast at one point and when people heard about this they were just upset that david was even bringing it up in the first place to kind of make it seem like jeff planned this whole thing out the podcast that david natalie and jason made to talk about this incident definitely had people feeling a little confused because there were a lot of times where they tried to just say everybody that was there that day filming wanted to do something crazy the mood was let's do something crazy on camera for this video and definitely trying to make it seem like it wasn't entirely david's fault what happened it was a combined decision we made and it was a complete accident and i'm so sorry that accident happened but it did and there's there's no going back from that while also david was trying to take some accountability in this video he would say things like he knows he was the one driving it he knows that this is his fault i was the one driving it it was Man. my video i was the one sitting there it's clear as day i am the one controlling the thing he got hurt because i was driving that's it and i right. know that and, and like i said i would any chance I would get, I would take that back. But then they're showing the DM of Jeff to try to make it seem like Jeff was down to do something crazy and it was Jeff's idea. But Jeff was clearly upset by this and due to the emotional toll all of the back and forth had had on him, he decided to just let lawyers handle the situation from this point on. And thus the legal documents have now been made public. So that's why it's taken until now for this to happen. There's a lot of layers to this, so I could see how people have a lot of questions. 
But as of right now, this is all we know about the lawsuit and how we ended up here. So I totally know it's a lot, but I definitely want to know what you guys think about this and Jeff coming up with this lawsuit. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>